Hello, it's Mrs Dunn here and welcome to this short information video about the multiplication tables check. So as you may be aware, the government have introduced a statutory multiplication tables check for all pupils in year four. The importance of this test is that it's been designed to determine a child's ability to recall the multiplication facts up to 12 times 12. This is really essential for their future success in mathematics. It gives children a sense of number, it builds confidence, it helps their fluency and essentially it helps them to become better problem solvers. We can use these results to help us to ascertain any children who may need further support with their times tables so that during year five and six, we can help to further support them and then be confident that when they leave Brindley Heath, they will be fluent in all times table facts up to 12 times 12. So the test itself is going to be completed by all year four children in June this year. The test is the first digital test designed by the government and it will be completed either on an iPad or on a desktop computer. The test itself comprises of 25 questions. Children will have an additional three practice questions at the beginning but the 25 questions are the ones that are marked. Children will have six seconds to answer each question. Once the question is answered and it disappears, there'll be a three second pause between each question. Children can either answer using the keyboard or by pressing the digits on the screen if they're using an iPad. At Brindley, we'll complete the test in small groups, probably in the computer room even if the children are using an iPad and that allows the children to have maximum concentration without any distractions of peers around them. In June there is a period of three weeks where we can administer the test. We won't tell you which day, it would just be over a few weeks children will do, a few children each day will have their turn and they'll come home and tell you they've done it. However, before this testing period opens, usually from about April time, there's a try it out session and children can access this as many times as they want to. This will be done in school and unfortunately we can only do this in school. Children have a specific PIN number that they enter as a password and that allows them to practice in school. They'll then have a new PIN number each day. The PIN numbers expire at 3.30. So that's, um, that's specifically designed so that children can only access this in school. Any children with any additional needs um, can have adaptations made to the test. And those are set online by teachers in school. It can, there are many adaptations, but they can include the child being in charge of when the question is displayed. So instead of the questions automatically moving on after three seconds, children can have um, more of a brain break and then click on to the next button for the question to be displayed. If this is something that is set up for your child, they would still only have six seconds to answer the question. And there's a maximum of 30 minutes. So even though they're allowed that longer brain break and that pause between questions, there is a maximum time limit for the test. Um, other adaptations that we can do are things like the font size, changing the colours on the screen and also making any changes to the number pad. If you've got any further questions about these adaptations, please ask your child's class teacher and they'll be able to talk to you about the options that we've got. So when the children have completed the test, they won't be aware of their result. Those results are sent to schools once the deadline to complete the test has closed. Because this is a statutory test, we have to report the, your child's test score to you. And we'll do this usually on the summer report that you'll get before your child leaves year four. 
So last year we completed the test and we took some feedback from the children. This is some of the things that they said. They said it's really fun because you get to use the computer. I enjoyed the test and we had done lots of practice. I know which tables I need to work on in year five and I think that's really important. We need to know as teachers which tables your child still needs to work on next year. And this test is a fantastic way of showing us we can see which questions your child got correct and use that to inform our planning and our support for next year. So what are we doing in school to prepare the children for this test? We daily um, work on times tables. We're reciting times tables during the maths lesson and any spare minute we get. We have um, subscriptions to TTRS, to Times Table Rockstars. We're completing a daily club sheet that's been done four times a week and you've had information already regarding those sheets. We're completing those every day to help children to increase their speed and accuracy of all times table facts up to 12 times 12. We're also planning in time in the computer room for children to use online multiplication games, again to improve their speed and their fluency. How can you help further at home? So regular practice, even for just a few minutes, will help to improve your child's fluency and accuracy. In the car, walking to school, while you're eating dinner, any extra practice like that will be really beneficial to your child. If your child has access to um, a tablet or the computer at home, encourage them to use their TTRS login. Staff can set specific tables that your child needs to work on. They can set all tables up to 12 times 12 and the TTRS format really helps to improve that speed. It's that speed that's really important because of the six second time limit. Mathsframe.co.uk have a free MTC game, so a multiplication checker game, that will allow children to answer questions with a six second time limit. They can change the tables that are being asked. They can set tables that they need to practice or to really imitate the test, they can have all tables up to 12 times 12. In school, one of the other things that we do is to use lots of online videos where um, times table games, times table songs, sorry, are uh, um, sang. They can chant along to them. And again, these are all available on YouTube and there are lots and lots that your child can use. So that's it from me. Thank you for listening. Um, ideally, this meeting would have been done in school, but COVID couldn't allow that this time. So if you have got any further questions, um, you can either ask me, email me, or you can speak to your child's class teacher. Thank you again for listening. Take care.